Hey guys, it's Emerald Pixel Gaming here back with another video. Now, I haven't made a video in a while, but I am now back to YouTube. So yeah, uh, first video of 2019, a bit late. Uh, I'll say it anyway, Happy New Year for the 1st of January, but it's now the 19th, but still. So today I have a tutorial on how to emulate PlayStation 2 games. Now, I have made a tutorial on how to emulate GameCube games, but uh, there's a big issue of that. Uh, Nintendo have done a big crackdown on Nintendo ROM, so you could get the emulator, but then it's going to be really difficult to find ISOs unless you pirate them. But then again, I'm not going to risk anything with torrents because you know I don't use torrents. But yeah, um, PS2 is definitely a great way to go if you know you're having issues, uh, if you just want to emulate a sixth generation, I think, yeah, sixth generation console. Um, and yeah, and PS2 is just a great console anyway. Uh, so yeah, for first of all, you want to go ahead and come to this link in the description, which is PCSX2.net. And what you want to do here is you just want to uh, go to download, get PCSX2 here, and you want to select Windows. If you're on Mac, you can select Mac, and uh, for the minor population of you on Linux, you can click Linux, but I'm on Windows. And I recommend you are as well. Uh, when you get to this screen, what you would want to do is just click download here. And now it's, uh, go ahead and click keep. Supposedly you're on Chrome, not on Edge, and hopefully not on Internet Explorer. But yeah, you click download and it's going to go ahead and download the setup file. So we're going to go ahead and click this. And you're going to get that message if you have user account control and you just want to click yes. Alright, so we get to this. You can tick whatever you like. And I'm just going to click yes. I think this one's probably the most important in the list. And maybe that one as well. Uh, and next, and then this should just be, I don't know. I'd say just leave it like that. And then click install. Now, as this thing installs, I'm just going to tell you guys quickly that uh, you don't need like a proper monster PC. With like, you know, 12 cores. 280 gigs of RAM. Well, let's just say you don't need like an absolute beast of a PC. You just need like a decent PC. I say uh, I recommend a quad core, um, 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, I'm fine with it. But anyway, yeah, so the program's installed now. Uh, what you want to go ahead and do uh, is you can go to PCSX2. So as you can see, it's on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and double click. Now, here's the first time configuration. Language selector, you could change that if you like, but honestly, system default for me is English, and you know, that works. So once you pick that, just click next. Um, as you can see, okay, so we can leave this as it is. This is like, you know, um, sort of drivers, I guess you could call them. Next, and um, use default setting. Now, BIOS ROM, this is quite complicated. So most websites have taken down the BIOS for PS2. Um, however, if you actually have a physical PS2, there are tutorials to uh, how to dump the BIOS, so that means get it on your PC, and then you can pick that. However, I won't be able to provide a BIOS, so I'm going to go ahead and browse for mine. Once you've selected your BIOS, you will now see this. So we're basically ready to play games. Now, I don't have any games in it, and I haven't really set my hotkeys, but let's just quickly boot into this. Uh, let's do fast. Alright, I'm not going to put an ISO in there, so CD, DVD, no disc, and as you can see, it's going to go and boot into our virtual PS2, and I'll have to say, the quality actually looks pretty good, you could actually trick someone into thinking, oh look at this, you know, my PS2 is, okay, actually no, that's a 448p, and it's in Japanese because of this BIOS, but yeah, basically that's uh, how you get the BIOS, now if you want to we actually play a game uh, first of all you should go ahead and go on uh, config controllers plug-in settings um, pad one now this is where if you want to plug in a controller I don't know if you can really do it without one I think yeah you can you can but uh, if you want to like insert a disc you can either insert one into your computer physically and that's really cool because it's like you know you have a PS you like technically fully have a PS2 on your computer, or you could just use an ISO where there are websites. I'll link cool ROMs in the description since they have ISOs. Uh, if you want to use an ISO, what you want to do is click on CD DVD and you want to tick ISO. Now, do ISO selector, click browse, 
and now here you want to go ahead and look for the ISO alright so here we are I've uh, selected my ISO um, don't blame me it's Shrek 2 I know uh, it's like a test for this so now let's try and launch so as you see the BIOS launch is fine and then after a few seconds for some reason, oh, the PlayStation 2 sign worked. For you, uh, PlayStation 2 might show up all corrupted as a barcode, but as you can see, the game is working. And that is pretty awesome. So yeah, uh, that is the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy and, you know, uh, this video helped you, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing to help this channel going. And uh, yeah, my name is Emerald Pixel Gaming, and I'll see you in the next video.